I will take the slice of that. All right, so I'm gonna take me another one of these weapons cartridges. Turn it into, I like it, my switch up, baby. Turn it into a uh, wood chipper. All right, so let's build this wood processor, this wood mill <clears throat> chipper. All right, we bought this old drill for 20 bucks, pawn shop. Use that as my motor. Got me a solid steel bell rod. I'm gonna use my shaft, some bearings, flange, a couple flanges. Bolts gonna go through that flange. It's gonna make the portion that goes into here for my shaft to spin that. We'll take this military tool that we cut up, cut it down to here, take this section here, and uh, weld new caps on the, each side of it. Runners for it to bolt down to the ground too, but the shaft can go through. Have all the blades. Oh yeah, and by the way, the blades. I'm gonna be using six and a half inch saw blades. Six and a half inch saw blades fit pretty much perfectly inside of that. So I'm gonna line this shaft with blades like such. Spacers in between them. Spacers in between the blades, all welded up. So there'll be blade, 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 all the way over for six inches. Little blades, all welded in with spacers in between it. At the end of that, we'll have another flange welded onto that, which will bolt up to the flange we have on this shaft, which will spin it to run these blades inside of the chipper that I'm gonna make. Cut out feeder tube and an exit port tube on the back. So, let's get busy, shall we? All right, so this is the section that I cut out of that cylinder. And we're gonna weld steel plate on this side, steel plate across this side, put us some dead center holes in there that will hollow out so we can uh, put bearings on the outside of that for the shaft uh, that's gonna have all the blades on its run through. So let's move on to the next step. All right, so now we've tack welded this uh, cylinder on this plate. Now I've got to cut everything off around that, grind it out, make it smooth, finish welding it all the way around through the inside, and then do the same thing to the other side. Make this chipper the casing for it. Now I need to get us a washer. Load it on the shaft on one end. Just start putting the blades on. This will go into the shaft. Get a bearing on this back side on the outside of that casing. Put the spin on. Put washers, blade, washers, blade. Washers, blade, washers, blade, all the way across the shaft until we get to the edge here where we'll weld another another one on, another uh, washer for the end. Got to go outside the back side of that casing for that chipper and also be on a bearing. This second flange will be welded onto the shaft that all the blades will be on, thus driving it. And of course, this is just a temporary setup that I put together so I can mess with this and do welding in between it and whatnot. But now you get the idea when these two separate.
All right, so I went to O'Reilly's and bought a couple of these pulleys. It's got really good bearings in them. I'm gonna be putting on the outside of that casing. And of course I grinded all the pan off one side of the bearing so I can weld it down. Got my center point. That on there, weld it to this side of the casing and the shaft will come through here dead center. That'll be spinning in that bearing. And then I'll uh, gotta make the other plate for the other side and then do the same thing to the other side. But I still got to get all my blades made first. All right, got that bearing welded on there. About like yay. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's get the rest of these blades welded on there. FYI, them blades ain't cheap. Especially buying that many of them. All the chipper blades ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut out the feeder hole where we're gonna make the feeder pipe and then on the back side, cut out the exit port. All right, so we got this side uh, tack welded on. Add the bearing to that side, get it centered, tack it on, and cut all this stuff down and fill in the holes, the welding holes, smoothing it out, and then get ready to build the feeder uh, tube and the exit port on the back. So I made these blades a little bit too tight in there so it's not spinning uh, real freely. So what I did is I cut a slice in this and I'm gonna open this casing up just a little bit. I want it to be tight because I want it to get real fine cuts. You know, I want it to be solid dust more than anything, but I need to open this up some more so it can spin a little bit more freely. That's what I'm working on now. All right, now that I've got it spinning freely, I'll fill in these openings that I made. All right, so I've hooked up the skill saw with the shaft that we made and the two flanges onto that shaft. We're gonna give it a little spin test real quick before we go to welding all the other caps and stuff on there and make sure it's gonna work out right. Uh, I have a variable speed controller on my plug in here that I have that drill or that skill saw plugged into so I can start this off real slow make sure it ain't gonna do that crazy on me because I'm just holding this so it's not mounted. Get a little more power than that. All right, so it spins fine. When you get things mounted up, weld all that up, trim it out. Let's go. I need to cut me some tabs in here on each side that will fold over the openings on each side so I can reconceal this cylinder. Now all these cuts will become tabs. So when this goes on that, reshapes. These tabs will fold down, that tab will fold down. I'm gonna weld all that around and have all that recovered up. All right, let's get to work. All right, so what I've done here is put this ratchet strap around this. So I put the appropriate amount of tension on there that I needed for this to be able to continue spinning freely. And I'll bend these tabs down and that tab down and weld it on there. So we'll remedy the, that situation. All right, so now we've got all the tabs bent down. Moving on. All right, what I've got going on here is I bolted 
the shaft back on. Um, this, because I've got to get ready to make a plate that's going to be welded off of this, that's going to hold this, this is going to mount too. So i got to get that plate all uh, measured out and see where that needs to be, get that welded on, leveled out, and uh, go from there. So that's where we're at. Okay, so now that we know we've got everything all leveled here and leveled here, we can uh, start welding the legs on, start getting this thing to be a freestanding unit. I've got the footings cut out and welded on. To become a mounting point to mount this uh, contraption down to. Now I've got to weld legs on this side. And we'll be just about done with the uh, major construction of this build. And we'll move on to making it look good. All the feet welded on there. Got a braced up, clamped down. So let's uh, let's test this before we go any further. So let's see how that's gonna operate. Now that we have the cap saw tack welded on there, it is time to start making the feeder tube on the exit pipe, or exit tube, whatever you want to call it. Now that I've got the main portion of this build done, I need to make a safety cage around the moving part. So I'm going to use some expanded steel and some angle iron. Really bad. Now what I'll be doing is welding a mounting point here and a mounting point here that this expanded steel will mount to and then stretch across, roll across that to save anybody from getting their fingers or anything like that uh, inside of that while it's spinning. Just a safety precaution. So I've got this expanded steel cut out and shaped. Time to make our mounting brackets. So I drilled out two holes in this angle iron. I'll cut that and I'll use each one of these individual pieces to weld down to the chipper. I'm gonna weld that one there. That one on the other side, and that's how I'm going to mount this cage down to it with bolts coming through and nuts. That'll keep people from uh, getting their fingers chopped off.
some pretty fine saw dust. A couple chunks in there, but nothing that can't be sifted out. Be able to make some pellets with that stuff.